We're talking Lake Cleveland Cross Country here on the John Mandola Show at our Carol and Janelle. John Sobosinski, the head coach. Uh, John, let's talk about the success this year with your team. Uh, share with us the story of the guys and the girls this year. Well, we, we kind of thought we were in a little bit of a rebuilding year, and especially after, on the girls' side, we graduated some, some real talented ladies. And uh, it turns out we're right in the thick of things in the Wyoming Valley Conference. I believe the boys are standing right now at, at 10 wins and one loss, and the girls are at 9 and 2. So I'm, I'm really pleased with a lot of new faces, a lot of freshmen, so doing some good things. Weather has hampered uh, some of the league schedule up in the Lackawanna League. And, you know, see some of those teams have 17 or 18 wins on the docket, but uh, you'll be you'll yeah. be scoring pretty heavy this coming week, right? Yes, yes. We, uh, we actually have to run off against six schools at our league meet, which, which works out because, you know, your kids are going to go out and run their hardest against good competition when you have a, an invitational style meet. So. Let's talk about the, the young athletes that, you know, coming into the varsity athletic scene is never easy as a freshman. Um, you get kids who come, sometimes they don't know any better. And that helps a little bit, right. uh, but they're great kids and great come from great families. And you do a couple of little tweaks like you normally do, and all of a sudden it's a pretty darn good formula. Absolutely, we especially on the boys' side, we have we have nine freshman boys that came out, and and I'm ecstatic. These guys, they were there every day in the summer. They worked really hard, and for me personally, it was just trying to find the balance between. How much do we want to push these guys because they're so young and they're still developing and maturing? So, trying to find the balance where I do give them enough work, but I'm not pushing them too far where they become injured. You talk about the the next few weeks will get really busy, um, and, and districts will be upon us just like that, uh, and then that next step after that. So, uh, talk about your outlook with that, and and, and you know, the course this year and attacking that course the right way and. Sometimes there's some luck involved, but mostly it's going to come down to you know who the who the best is, and, and hopefully you're right in that mix. Absolutely, um, we we think we have some individuals that will get to states. We do have some some kids that have, especially on the girls' side, we have two young ladies that that are really uh, one one young lady medal down at the Hershey Invitational, which is tough to do. And on the boys' side, we're we're pretty solid as a team and. We, other than Holy Redeemer, there's an opportunity, perhaps, and I think we're young still, so we may not be there just yet, but I think we will factor in, in this district championship, and we have a chance. So we're we're in the conversation, let's put it that way, on the boys' side. Let's talk about, uh, you know, some basics. Uh, Cross-country running, you start out at X amount of uh, miles per week in the summer, and you kind of get to a point here in the fall, so... You know, is there a build up, build down? Is it kind of taper off? Tell us a little bit about most coaches' philosophy. That's you're exactly right when you talk about taper. You're you're just trying to make sure at this point. I always try to make sure we we don't reduce the mileage too much, so your body starts to peak. So we're still running a decent volume of miles, but we're getting close now where we're really going to start to taper down and. Uh, run shorter, run faster, and try to peak and get ready for a championship meet at districts. Every team has a different feel to it. Let's talk about the 2018 cross country team. Loose group, kind of a, you know, hey, we're eyes wide open, we just want to learn this year. Um, tell us a little bit about them. That's funny you say that, John, because uh, I, I say this group of guys, we, again, we graduated a bunch of guys that uh, last year, and Normally, out on a run, and I, I'm out with these guys, and they're talking about girls and different things. This group's talking about Fortnite and video games, so uh, <laughs> yeah, it's loose. It's it's a good group of kids. They're young. They're really into it, and I enjoy being around them. Well, uh, you're doing a great job as always, John. Always a pleasure to speak with you, and uh, we wish you continued success. The next few weeks will be interesting. Thank you very much, John. Appreciate it. Lauren Pendleton is with us here on the John Mandola Show. We talk about the Lake Lehman Cross Country team, and uh, let's talk a little bit about the success that you and your teammates are having this year. Uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good this year. Um, we're, I'm pretty sure, 10 and 2 right now. Um, so yeah, we're we're doing good. Yeah. 
How about for you personally? Let's talk about some things that you feel you're doing. Are you you're running your best right now? Um, not actually. I'm trying to stick in there. I had a slight injury, um, working through that, but yeah, I'm doing okay. So when you're not running your best, you got to probably put your energy into maybe getting the best out of everybody else. So how are some of the younger girls responding to you and, and to Coach Sobosinski? They're doing good. They're stepping up. Um, Mojo, or Morgan Patla, and uh, Lizzie Blasky are really stepping up this year. Um, they're first and second on the team right now. And they're doing good, yeah. Let's talk about how you encourage them. Talk about some people that maybe took you under their wing um, when you were younger and now you're trying to do the same thing and pass pass the torch, so to speak. Um, yeah, they just, I try and give them like the best advice. Um, I just try and be like a role model to them and just, uh, just kind of show them what's good to do, um, yeah. You're also a member of the track team. Talk about what events you're competing in in track. Uh, I actually didn't do track the last two years, but I'm going to do it this year. But I would do the distance. Um, in the past, I've done the two mile, and um, once in a while, the mile and 800, but mostly two mile. Member of the FBLA and Key Club. Uh, talk about being well-rounded and being involved with those activities. Yeah, I'm very... Um, well, Key Club makes me involved with the community. I enjoy helping out with the community wherever I can. And, um, yeah, FBLA is just a good, good way to... You have a brother, Liam, and a sister, Lindsay, so tell us about e what each of them are up to. Uh, my sister, Lindsay, she's in at Penn State right now. She's a junior, and Liam is actually on the team. He's a sophomore. Yeah. How's he doing? He's doing good. He's actually he's improved a lot this year. Yeah, good. I got his big sister pushing him a little bit up to Yeah. You enjoy math. Uh, you're yeah. second in your class, which is outstanding, a 4.3 grade point average. Uh, let's talk about the next step for you. What are you going to do? Um, my plan right now is to go to college for actuarial science. Um, the top three schools right now would be Penn State, University of Pittsburgh, and St. Joseph's. I'm not sure which one I want to go to yet, but those are the top three. Three great choices. <laughs> let's talk about your dad as a role model. Why do you look up to him? Uh, he's just an overall good guy. He has good morals and uh, good values, and he puts those on to me. And, um, yeah, he just gives me good advice about life situations. And, yeah. well, Lauren, we appreciate you sharing your personal story. Obviously, we're rooting for you. Keep up the great work in the classroom. I know that's thank not you. easy. Yeah, thanks. Brian Morio joins us here on the Job and Dollar Show, Lake Lima Track and Field. And, uh, Brian, it's your junior year. Talk about uh, where the guys are at right now for the Black Knights running. Um, things are looking really good. Um, I say we're in contention to maybe make states, maybe. I mean, I know we have to beat Dallas and Hazleton. Um, they both look good, and uh, we have a lot of young freshmen that are looking really good this year. Um, we, are, we are a young team. Um, I think we only have one senior, one junior, and a couple sophomores, and the freshmen look real good. Let's talk about uh, trying to get the freshmen up to speed, and some of them might have raw talent. Uh, some of them might not know any better, Coach Sobosinski and I were talking about, but what could you do as a junior and going through the program and saying, okay, here's some good advice, here's what I would do. What do you tell them? Um, I use past experience mostly because I was a freshman at one point trying to uh, keep up with the, the seniors and stuff, and I tell them it's, it's got to keep working, brush it off. I know Will McCarroll is doing really good. He came, he's beating me pretty good, um, second on the team. Uh, and then uh, Brady Newman, Casey Weaver, they're both like with me, so I kind of try to help them a lot. Let's talk about the other sports you play, uh, basketball, track and field, and, and how serious you are about either of those sports and then what events you compete in a track. Um, well, basketball, I mainly play to stay in shape. I mean, I, I like it, I love it, it's fun, but I'm not the greatest, so I mainly play JV. And then with track, I do the two mile, the mile, sometimes I'm in the four by eight. really depends if they need me there or not, but mostly it's the mile and the two mile. Team bonding, uh, just basically hanging out is a lot of fun. So yeah. talk about uh, what it's like to hang out with this group. Um, I've, I've made pretty good friends with a lot of kids on this team in the past and in the present. Um, we go out for food a lot, we hang out. It's just, it's just a lot of fun with these guys. You have a, a brother, Colt? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about him. Um, yeah, he's 14. He plays a lot of sports, too. Um, he just broke his collarbone in football, yeah. Um, so I don't know if he's going to come back to football, but he's really good at basketball and baseball, and I love him. I love the kid. You're doing well in the classroom, 3.73 grade point average. Uh, let's talk about being a dedicated student. Oh, yeah. I, I, I put school 
I put school over everything else. I mean, this year I put, put a lot of stress on myself. I took two AP classes, put a lot of stress on myself. I mean, so just a lot. Well, let's talk about a couple role models in your life, who you look up to and why. Oh, I look up to Coach So a lot. I mean, great guy. I had him in school. This overall grade, he's taught me a lot. I think we, the way he carries himself yeah. probably is one of the most interesting things about him. He doesn't get too excited. Um, he, he just has that quiet confidence about him, and if he could get that to you, um, then that's going to make a world of difference in young men or young women at this point, right? Yeah, it definitely does, yeah. Well, Brian, uh, we appreciate your story, and uh, next couple weeks are going to be busy. Tiff Lasinski is with us here on the John Mandola Show. We're talking to Lake Lehman Cross Country, and uh, Tiff, let's talk a little bit about your role this year. Um, this year is, will be my fifth year running cross country uh, for Lake Lehman. It's been a good experience so far, and I'm hoping it continues. I, um, I'm technically the number five girl for Lehman right now. We've had two girls. Um, get injured but one came back healthy so we still have one out so some of us had to step up and take the position of being the top girl so uh, Morgan Patla has stepped up, Lauren Pendleton stepped up, Lizzie Belaski so most of the girls that were on the team have stuck with it thank goodness because um, most of us would be not running if it weren't for what we've been through so thankfully we've all been healthy throughout the season so. What are you trying to do as a leader out there? Um, just show the girls that running isn't a physical sport, it's more of a mental sport, and that it's not just an individual sport, it's also a team sport, and that you need to cheer one another on no matter if you're the first person or the last person. Track and field member, uh, yes. talk about what event you compete in there. Um, I've done track since a freshman now. I've done javelin, the 100, and pole vault. I'm only sticking with javelin this year because Coach Sobosinski told me that he has potential in me making it to districts and then possibly making it to states. Pasta parties, bonfires, di different things. Talk about the bonding stuff. Um, we do a lot of different things. We just recently had a bonfire at my house to just hang out and chill just to get the tension off our shoulders. Um, normally after our coaches meet up at Tunkanic, we'll stop at Antonio's of Pizzeria and just have pizza and cinnamon knots and just hang out. Two sisters, uh, tell us about Kenzie and Madison. Uh, Mackenzie and Madison both play field hockey for Lehman. Uh, Mackenzie's a junior this year starting on varsity and Madison's a freshman starting on varsity. Uh, it's both of their dreams to continue playing field hockey, hopefully for college. Uh, Madison was pretty hyped up that she was a starting freshman on the varsity team, so. You will well in the classroom, 3.5 grade point average. Let's yes. talk about the next step for you. What are you looking for in a college? Um, I'm looking forward to getting just my education to be an elementary school teacher. Um, I really want to continue running, but if they don't offer it to me, then I'll just go and potentially just get my education. Let's talk about your folks and why you look up to them. Um, my mom, uh, she if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be running. She told me in eighth grade that maybe I should try running because I liked running as just to do it. Um, so in eighth grade, she told me to go out, and I've loved it ever since. I won't stop. I hope I don't stop. Um, Dad, because he just shows that you can never give up on something, and I want to be that type of person. So. Well, Tiff, uh, we know you're going to have a busy couple weeks yes. uh, and a busy rest of the year with your senior season. Uh, keep up the good work of leading this group. Thank you. Dylan Ide is with us from Lake Lehman, continuing the conversation with the cross country team. Uh, Dylan, it's your senior year. Let's talk about your leadership this year. Uh, what have you done to lead a, a young, young group? Oh my gosh, where do I even start? Uh, they would, they would love to throw rocks, do all this crazy stuff, and it was <laughs> as a first year junior last year. Yeah, it was a huge change, a huge step up this year. And I had to really, really think about how do I corral the team in not a bossy way, but a leadership way. And I did that through using comedy a lot of the time, but um, really just getting to know the kids was really, really crucial in getting to corral them to, to, to be runners. You learn a little bit more about yourself, so what'd you learn? You, you have some leadership ability, huh? Yes, uh, that's exactly right. I, last year, I was so scared, so worried about, man, how am I going to be a leader? And really, I just, I didn't do anything. I just, I 
was enjoyable with the team, but still that captain that says, hey, here's what we're doing. Let's go. Let's do our running right now. Pretty darn cool story. Let's talk about uh, other things you do. You Volvo track, indoor track. So what events you compete in there? Distance. Distance all year round. I, I never stray from more than, uh, more than a mile. Debate, theater, key club. Talk about what you enjoy there. Oh my gosh, uh, debate uh, is my second favorite. Uh, I love, I love having a conversation, more, more of an argument with, with uh, someone. My parents can vouch for that. Um, I, I love to argue against people, especially in Congress. That's, that's why I do uh, the event. I do a debate. Uh, let's talk about the, the siblings that you have and what they're up to. Oh my gosh. Uh, the cross country team likes to call me Bubba because my 18 month old uh, little brother loves to call me Bubba. And when, when I brought him to a track meet, it stuck. So, and then my uh, 13 year old brother, Jesse, is uh, uh, away, but um, yeah, he does, he does band. So, pretty darn cool. Uh, AP Calc. Uh Honors physics, 4.2 grade point average, top 10% of your class. You got a lot going for you. Uh, talk about the the gifts that you have, and you, you're running with them. You're doing your best with them, and, and they're paying off for you. I'm, I'm really trying. I'm really putting myself out there this year. I'm really trying to go out with bang, uh, really make myself juicy for uh, colleges. I'm working at Carnegie Mellon, hopefully architecture. Um, Ever since I was little, I've loved to put things together, love to build things, and really, physics, AP Calc, really brings that to life. Coach Sobosinski, talk about his influence on you. Oh my gosh, Coach Show, where I start, you know, from from an early seventh grader, he really inspired me. He was a wonderful physics teacher, and joining track and cross country really helped bring his his leadership there. He he's. One of the best coaches I've ever seen. He, I've done a bunch of sports in the past, basketball, marching band, and he really cares about the individual runner, the individual participation. Gil and I, we wish you the best of luck. Congratulations on a lot of success. Good luck at the next level. Thank you so much.